Drea on Facebook. She is the president of the other IFAF. Oh, fun. You've, you've met yes, her a couple her, times yeah. at the IFAF Awards, mm-hmm. the Idaho Falls Advertising Federation Awards. Yeah, which they always do such a great job on their little award show that they do. It's so fun. Yeah, I wonder what the theme is going to be this coming year. Ooh, good question. They usually go with something in advance. Right. So I don't think right. it'll be Olympics. Huh, I wonder what it is going to be. What's going to be hot next year? Hmm. Anyway, Drea says, hey, Lucy's Pizza has a pickled pizza. Yes. Yeah, I'm so glad she said something. Thank you, Drea. Mm-hmm. We got one. We tried it. It's amazing. It's, it's called, amazing. It's called the Pizzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I love the name, uh, but it was very good. Yeah. Uh, I think that, okay, so if Combines we're talking- pizza and pickle, I guess. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get it. It's just- Yeah. Doesn't sound good. Yeah, pizzle sounds like something you do in an alleyway, <laughs> right? Late night behind a bar, <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> now, really quick, I just want to do a, a quick comparison of the two pickle pizzas we've had recently. Because we did have the one from. We were blown away when we got uh-huh. to do the food tasting for the fair and Mama and Papa Leo's. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't have a physical location. No, well, so I we're mean, not they cheating have the one on at them. the fair, but but yeah, they only yeah. have the thing at the fair. Right. That's it. And we had it. We loved it. Yes. Yeah. And then what What do you think? Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to come straight out the gate saying it. I do think that the mom and Papa Leo's is slightly better, which is shocking because I thought that the uh, Lucy's pizza had a much more pickly flavor to it. But here's the difference. I liked the creaminess of the mom and Papa Leo's. I felt like it had a little bit more of that than the Lucy's pizza did. Um, and I also liked that they went with the Dave's Hot Pickles which I think add an extra flavor to the pizza that Lucy's didn't have. The, theirs felt a little bit more one note and less complicated than Mama and Papa Leo's did, but they're damn similar. And I will respectfully disagree with you mm-hmm. in that that one note on the pizzle, uh-huh. on the Lucy's Pizza Pickle Pizza, uh-huh. uh, was so good It was that I actually prefer the Lucy's over the Mama and Papa Leo's. Okay, fair enough. And, and, I, and maybe it's because you can get it year round, not just during the fair. Which is really nice. Now, that being said, I think I would like the Lucy's one better if I was planning to dip it. Because like a little bit of that dill ranch Mm -hmm. or even some of that garlic sauce that you can get from Pizza Hut. Next time we get one. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like I definitely think that that pizza is better for dipping. Um, So that kind of works out in, you know, mom and Papa Leo's favor favor, since they don't really, you can't really dip it while you're at the fair because you're walking around and stuff. It'd be a pain. And I really like Lucy's pizza crust. It's New York style crust. It's thin, Mm -hmm. um, but it's got, you know, a handle on the edge. It's a little thicker. Mm Mm-hmm. But it's the perfect combination for me of crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Yes, I agree with that. And it was so pickly. Mm-hmm. It was almost, don't let this be a turnoff to you, it was almost, but not quite, sour. Yes. Yeah. And that part I did really like about yeah. it. You could really taste the pickle brine to it, which was nice. And I didn't think that the crust on the Lucy's pizza was bad. Sometimes I don't love Lucy's crust because I'm a thick crust girl. I like I like things the yuck. You do. You do. <laughs> you know? You're a thick girl. <laughs> I am. T-H-I-C-C. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, because I don't tend to like thin crust, I don't tend to love Lucy's crust. I don't hate it by any means. But I did think that the one on their pickle pizza was particularly good. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's somehow different. It's probably not. I wonder if it just marries with the flavors better to than me, maybe yeah. with some of the others. It tasted. And if you've missed all the episodes up until now, um, what we're talking about basically is a pizza crust, Alfredo sauce, mm-hmm. pickles for the topping, and um, dill sprinkled on top. Mm-hmm. That's both of those. Mama and Papa Leo's and Lucy's have, I think, that in, mostly in common. Mostly. Now, here's another thing. I think that the Lucy's pizza only does mozzarella cheese, whereas the Mama and Papa Leo's does mozzarella and cheddar. I think you're which right. Which I also liked. The uh, the other thing that I noticed about the pizzle mm-hmm. uh, or this kind, this style of pizza in general is, I'm a hungry boy. I need my protein. <laughs> yes. You eat three slices of that and like... Two hours later, you're hungry. Right, I'm right. Hungry. I mean, there's so maybe still drink protein. a protein shake with it or something. <laughs> there's definitely still protein in the cheese, at least. Yeah, it's not. But you're, I do think Carly that, thinks soup is a meal. I love soup. What's wrong with soup? It's like a 
appetizer. Don't you dare. It doesn't fill you up. <laughs> Don't you dare trash talk soup. <laughs> Depends on the soup. All right. Uh, now, that being said, I feel like on either of those pizzas, you could add sausage and it would be delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So I almost wonder if what we should do is we should get the pizzle, add sausage, add cheddar. I love it. Yeah. Because I think that would be the the perfect pickle pizza. Take and bake, don't they? I think they do. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I called them once on a Monday. Mm Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, we, we can only do carry out because our ovens are, aren't working. Oh, I think. bummer. <laughs> it was only a few weeks ago. Oh, funny. Too. But, um, oh, one other general piece of advice I want to give, just in case you haven't heard this yet, is did you know that one 18-inch pizza has, has more square footage than two 12-inch pizzas? That makes sense, actually. Yeah. If you're ever... Okay, so... And I don't know. You do math and use pi somehow. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I mean... Two two 12 inches. Yeah. 226 square inches of pizza. Mm -hmm. One 18 inch, 254 square inches. Yeah. Math magic. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's because you're getting all of that outer layer, you know? Something to do Those with hypotenuses inches. and circumferences, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I used to know how to find the area of a circle. <laughs> I could probably figure it out if I really had to, but I sure as shit don't remember off the top of my head. And he got Anybody got a protractor <laughs> or a compass? What would you... I don't know. Uh, for that one, you... Well, I mean, f- to find the area of it, you wouldn't need either of those. Okay. But a protractor is always helpful for find- finding the angles of things. Okay. So, I mean, a compass would be good if you were drawing circles. I guess I was being obtuse. 